Today we're here to remember the men and women who served our country, to honor our military and their families, and to teach our children about the sacrifices made by the men and women of this country, who through generations have made a sacred pact to protect our freedom. Marines Across America started way back in 1992, if you can remember that far back, with the laying of wreaths in a small section of Arlington National Cemetery that received very few visitors. Over the years, this wonderful tradition has grown, and now today, more than 700,000 wreaths are placed at more than 1,000 cemeteries across the country and the world on this, the second Saturday of every December. It is a small but a powerful gesture to honor those that have worn the cloth of our country. To me, the men and women who are laid to rest in this hallowed ground represent the best of what our great country represents. We don't honor these American patriots necessarily because they died for that country. Most of the folks here in this cemetery didn't. Many lived to a ripe old age and spent many an hour regaling their grandchildren with stories of their glory days in uniform. No, we don't honor them because they necessarily died for their country. We honor them because they were willing to die for their country. They willingly wrote a blank check to the United States government for an amount up to and including their life to be cashed at a time and place of the government's choosing and in defense of the Constitution and the freedoms it guarantees. We are the United States Navy. We will not falter in our sacred duty to this great country. Naval Air Station Pensacola is the cradle of naval aviation and we will continue to do our nation's work in training the finest aviators and aviation support service personnel in the world.